Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick, and this is Executive Insight. And today I'm talking with Karim Ramadan, who is the General Manager, Microsoft Egypt. Karim Ramadan, welcome. I'd like to begin by asking you about ICT in the continent of Africa. We're here in Egypt, in Cairo, in preparation for the ITU Telecom Africa show. I'd like to begin by asking you, what is the state, in your opinion, of ICT in Africa at the moment, and how can it be progressed so that the entire continent can be digitally connected? I think the great thing about Africa, it's a continent of opportunity. And I think very much uh, as it was the frontier many, many years ago for many explorers, I think today uh, Africa is the frontier for ICT. Um, as we all know, the world is becoming uh, flat. Uh, the opportunities that present themselves to countries, and specifically countries that haven't um, taken up these opportunities before, uh, emerging markets and specifically uh, continents like Africa. I think this is really the time uh, where uh, Africa as a continent and Africa as a group of countries and Africa as a large part of the population on this planet um, can really uh, catch up play a game of catch-up uh, with the rest of the world. Today, uh, the technology, technologies that present themselves um, allow people uh, in Africa uh, to have access to the Internet, um, to have the opportunity to live the experience of the information age, and really give Africa an opportunity to have a bigger participation in the economic uh, global development that's happening. Um, and uh, I think that um, uh, many countries are doing different activities around that and I think a much more consolidated um, African holistic approach needs to be taken and it needs countries like Egypt for example to take a, a key uh, leading role in that and that Egypt has done some really breakthrough, th breakthrough things in terms of ICT uh, which can be replicated and consolidated on a uh, pan-African uh, level. One of the main themes of the ITU show is connecting Africa. And a lot of the emphasis is on what's being called the missing link, that link in the chain which isn't there, which needs to be forged so that Africa can truly be connected. What needs to be done, in your opinion? What is that missing link? Um, I think Egypt can play a, a key role in uh, linking uh, Africa to some uh, key things in terms of ICT participation. As an example, um, one of the issues with the digital divide is access to PCs and technology. Egypt has had a, a very successful uh, nationwide uh, PC initiative that it's implemented, um, which is the Home PC Initiative. Uh, before this initiative, uh, there was about 20 or 30,000 PCs that used to ship uh, to the homes. After the initiative, now there's about 150,000 PCs. So 150,000 Egyptian homes have the opportunity to purchase computers, um, uh, top, uh, top configurations uh, with financing, um, and have 150,000 homes that did not have the opportunity to participate in the information age and to have access to the internet have been able to do this through the Home PC Initiative. And what specific projects is Microsoft involved in in Egypt and across Africa? We're actually participating in many uh, very large-scale nationwide projects. Probably the biggest uh, one of which, I've already mentioned the Home PC Initiative, which is a, a big initiative for us, which we're, we're uh, very uh, honored to be uh, participating in. Probably the second biggest one is the e-government project. Um, now, this is a, a long-term project. It's something that we've started since 2001. Um, there's about 800 government services uh, that are out there and really the the goal of the project is to make all these services uh, available to citizens and businesses in Egypt either electronically through the internet or through uh, things like call center um, but really at the end of the day is to make government much easier to deal with and when we started with this, with this project we started with a very simple uh, service uh, things related to telephone bills inquiries about telephone bills and paying your telephone bills online 
but today we have about 100 uh, e-government services. They include things like you can apply to schools, you can apply to universities online, uh, you can do your uh, taxes online for businesses and, and individuals, you can do everything related to uh, tr uh, traffic uh, with your driver's license and your car license and all of those things. And as a r direct result of the e-government project, Egypt has climbed uh, in the last two years from the rank of number 56 to the rank of number 28 to be actually uh, the highest ranking e-government country uh, across all the Arab countries and across all the African countries. Now this is really important because it not only provides better services to citizens, but when uh, today when a lot of investors come and look at uh, Egypt or, f or at Africa for that uh, purpose, they look at those are one of the indices that they look at or the benchmarks that they look at, what the country has done in terms of e-government. So that's a very big and important project uh, that we've been involved in. Another important project which is really important for, for Africa as well is education. And really if you look at everything that we do, everything is really begins with education. If you're going to be part of economic development, if you're going to be an area where people are going to outsource, if you're going to be um, uh, trying to drive employability or employment, uh, that it all begins with education. And Egypt has a huge uh, education sector. We have 16 million students in K-12 uh, schools. We have 2.4 million in universities. And uh, we've provided our software, uh, Microsoft has provided software in terms of uh, different agreements that we have with the different sectors. But more importantly, we've invested millions and millions of dollars around training. Um, we've began with teachers in the K-12 because you can't begin to teach students unless the, uh, the teachers know what they're talking about. So we've, we've, we've trained uh, 100,000 teachers to date and we plan on training hundreds of thousands of more teachers. Egypt is very keen to develop its ICT industry and infrastructure and there's a lot of emphasis on homegrown solutions. Now you're here as the general manager, you are an Egyptian, you're here as a general manager of what is an enormous multinational company. How well does Microsoft work with the agencies within Egypt, with the government, with the telecommunications regulator, with the ICT industry in general? What's the relationship like? One of the best things about Egypt is the fact that you have the spirit of public-private partnership. Uh, the government is very open and transparent with us in terms of what their requirements and what their needs are. And we are very open with our government as well in terms of what Microsoft wants, whether it's on an international level or on a local level. And if you look at the results of that partnership, uh, and you look at the way that Microsoft has invested in Egypt, uh, I think that's a great evidence of that public-private partnership. Uh, so Microsoft was the first company to come to the Smart Village. If you've uh, driven around or walked around the Smart Village, it's really it's the new face of Egypt, and it should be the new face of Africa. It's a high-tech, tech-savvy, high-investment, low-cost environment. Ever since then, the, the investments that we've done in Egypt have grown in, a, in an exponential way. So today, if you look at some of the investments that we have in Egypt, we have obviously the Microsoft Egypt subsidiary itself, which is 120 people. They're all Egyptians. Uh, they're all uh, very excited and happy to be working for a multinational. Um, and they all feel that they can add a big, big benefit in terms of value add, in terms of the brain power that the Egyptians have. Some other things that we've done in Egypt, which are really, I think, breakthrough. Um, something which, which doesn't happen a lot in emerging markets and does not happen a lot in Africa, but is happening in Egypt in a big, big way and also can be a, 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 a step for Africa, is a new um, facility that we have, which is the Microsoft Innovation Center located here in the Smart Village. This is an R&D center. It does research and development. It's, it's uh, 30 uh, doctors and researchers. And it's the second of, of, of two in the world, one being uh, in Germany. So this is the first one that we've done outside of the developed world. And the, all they do is actually research around um, 
how people in emerging markets and in developed countries, uh, developing countries use the Internet. How do they deal with healthcare? How do they deal with education? Because most of the R&D that's done today is done very much around developed countries or the developing world. But uh, if you think about it, there are 6 billion people in the world. 5 billion of them do not have PCs. And most of those people and the growth and the opportunity in the future is actually in the emerging markets and in the, the developing world. Uh, so multinationals and Microsoft specifically need to cater to that. And that's what's part of the decision of doing an R&D center in Egypt. Some other things which are important. We have in Egypt one of the largest call center facilities in the world. We have 600 people that are providing call center um, services um, to uh, people all over the world. I think Egypt uh, has provided a very strong cost base for us. Uh, so Egypt is a, is a very attractive from a cost perspective. But more importantly than cost is the fact that you have a lot of young, ready, educated, and skilled Egyptian talent that can be used right away in terms of the different services that we have. And this is, was part of the main decision why we decided to make these investments and will continue to drive a lot of the investments going forward in terms of Microsoft in Egypt as well as in Africa. Karim Ramadan. Thank you very much indeed.